está Gerardo Enrique Gómez Escamilla. I started drawing literally the first thing I ever did when I first picked up a pencil. Like, um, I always drew people. Um, I was really influenced a lot by comics. I would always read comic books, Spider-Man comic books, um, and play the video games. I was like really, I was very nerdy. So like, that's all I did was just copy comic books. And so comic books, you know, certain artists like Mark Bagley and Todd McFar McFarlane and uh, John Romita Sr., they all kind of taught me how to draw. I just copied over and over again. I would like use watercolor when I was like, maybe like four or five. Um, but I never got into painting seriously until I was like 17. And then I started really painting when I got here to Texas State. Painting is something new for me and I've been really getting into it. Uh, which oil painting, it's like, it's so, it's not about lines or, or, uh, you know, how well you can like recreate something. It's just about marks and color and value and intensity. And I've really been playing with that a lot. Uh, just making each mark individual and special. Each one that I make counts. You only make one mark and you never make it again. So. Uh, I try to I keep that in mind every time I paint. I've been able to use the medium instead of letting it use me. Like I kind of, I know what I'm doing with, the, with colors now and with the different brushes that I have. Like I love doing it, it's not a job. And I get praised like it is. I'm just in the studio working. I just put on my headphones and paint and dance. I make, the way I work is I just take photos. I'm always taking pictures and I just paint whatever ones were interesting. Um, if I couldn't draw or anything, I'd be a photographer or a director, like a filmer, because I, I like just capturing moments. I'm here on this, I, li I basically live on this floor, the fourth floor of the art building. I'm here every day. I usually chill here for about maybe five or six hours after class. I usually leave at, at 10 or 11 here every day. So I'm here from 11 to 11. Um, I teach painting classes, like uh, painting with a twist. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I teach people how to paint and they drink wine. It's like, it's a fun job, but I'm, I'm still painting. Growing up in San Antonio influenced a lot of my art because I want to keep everything true to me. Um, I want everything to be slightly Hispanic. Just throwing culture into another culture. There's an artist, named Vincent Valdez, who is also from San Antonio. And his art is also a little bit reflective of Hispanic culture. And I kind of take from that a little bit too. I mean, even just putting myself in it. A lot of my subject matter, all the people that I paint, everyone is, has been Hispanic so far. I do want to be more colorful with, cause I've been, you know, experimenting with so much color. I do want to play more with different skin tones cause I love painting people and I hate painting clothes, it's boring. Uh, skin is amazing. I've been drawing more from uh, gay culture. Like I've been so, I've been getting into drag queens, um, just owning yourself, loving yourself. All of that, all of my paintings tie into that final idea of self-love. A lot of my paintings reflect, they're literally just like my biography. You know, when I was younger, all my paintings were really angry or like all my self-portraits were uh, sad. Going through all the struggles, I, I would like, they would go from sad and then for a while my paintings were really sad, like crying, like I would be crying in my paintings. Um, just like extra, just kind of trying to get the point across. Um, and now my paintings are very happy and very silly, like, cause that's way more close to the life I live now. Just, um, I wouldn't say sinful, but just hedonistic probably. I relate more to that. Try to I want I try to make all my figures and characters have give that same emotion that that they're proud of who they are. It took me ten. Ten years to really like understand myself and like finally like accept myself about everything. And so at this point in my life all my paintings are reflecting that. This that final like happy to 
be accepted by not only anyone, but myself. Painting forever, I'll always like make some art about what's going on. I just have to. It's the easiest way to like move on from something. Cause like once I paint it, it sticks and it's real now and I moved on. Like ready to paint something else, ready to do another chapter. So painting is really kind of um, soothing in that way. I would like to just get out of here, move to New York, just get my MFA, um, just make work over there, get into galleries. I don't care to really be famous. I'll, I, if I'm famous after I die, I like Van Gogh, that's, that's cool. Um, I don't care for the fame, I just uh, want to be able to make enough money to afford this passion. Um, I want it to take me to New York. I'll probably eventually come back. I want to get my MFA and then become a professor and teach and learn from my students. Um, that's how my life is planned out so far in my head. Um, but I just, I want my paintings to speak to people. I want them to move people. I want them to realize it's not that bad. Just that art can really change the way you view everything.